To Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, Food Chain is a local non-profit that works to bring food education to Lexington. And today we're learning more about their processing kitchen classes with Rebecca Selv from Food Chain. Welcome, my friend. How are you? I'm great. Welcome thanks. back to the show, I should say, as well. <laughs> um, just remind everyone at home what Food Chain is and the mission that you hold near and dear to your heart. All right, so Food Chain is a local nonprofit. We're specific to Lexington, and we're really trying to forge links between our community and fresh food. So yeah. we do education and demonstration of sustainable, innovative food systems, just trying to get people to think more about local fresh food and how they can plug into it. Okay, okay. so let's talk about your teaching and your processing kitchen and how that then would fit into all of that. Yes, yeah. so this is our brand new facility. We just opened it last fall. We're really, really excited about it because it's really a way for, for people to plug in on the processing and preparation side of mm -hmm. fresh food. So with whole ingredients, you got to have some know-how of how to actually prepare those, put those into a meal. Um, and then on the processing side, that enables us to actually bring in local product and make it more convenient and longer lasting so that it's accessible and usable um, for community members. Okay, and just showing everyone what we've got up on the table here, I just opened up what you now have called Asian pear chips. Yes. And I cannot tell you, everyone, how so bloody good. nice they are. <laughs> they are the really And I'm tasty. telling you, the minute these are for sale, <laughs> buy them. Because I just, they're just so yummy and they're natural with no sugar. And you yeah. know I've become a vegan. Yeah. So <laughs> here's outdated. the thing. Just give us an overview of what goes on in the kitchen. Yeah. And is it open to the public to come in? Because you said classes, so are, yeah. we, are we learning to preserve? Like, yeah. Ex break that down. Yeah, there's, while, a lot, while, there's a lot. While happens. I eat while another you, pair. Yeah. You need to share partake, over here. Partake, <laughs> yes, absolutely. No one likes to talk on an empty stomach. Yeah, so there's multiple different things happening in our kitchen. On the teaching side, we do a lot of youth and family classes. Okay. Um, so we actually, starting in March, we'll be doing after-school cooking classes for our neighborhood elementary schools, and we're downtown, so we really work a lot with schools that have limited resources trying to get those students to be familiar with fresh whole ingredients um, so we need a lot of help with um, doing those classes running those classes um, in addition to the ones where we offer for free for our neighborhood kids we also do paid um, classes so coming up on February 21st um, we'll be doing a paid cooking class um, at that cl at the teaching kitchen so people can come down and learn um, about whatever fresh seasonal ingredient we're working with the chef this month for uh, but the processing kitchen which is what all this stuff yeah. is from um, is really food chain trying to work with local farmers to target their surplus and seconds so kind of the harder to market product oh, yeah. gotcha. and turn it into more convenient more consumable and ultimately more affordable product so that people can incorporate it well, into when their can diet. I start awesome. buying all of this well hopefully soon so like I said we just opened our processing kitchen in the fall and we do volunteer opportunities every week where people come in and help us do this processing as we mm -hmm. kind of get our feet under us but the idea is so right now seasonally this is some of the fresh product coming out of Kentucky yep. Farm so yep. you know a lot of winter squash and then through drying chopping freezing we can make it last longer so these are some dried peppers some diced frozen peppers some dried sliced beets some pureed um, frozen squash and some diced frozen squash. So all kinds of different things so that you how, can do with it. If if someone wants to help volunteer, how yeah. do they how do they do this? How do they get a hold of you to do so this? So hopefully they go to our website, which is foodchainlex.org, and we have a whole volunteer slot there. Um, but we do have you don't have any need to have any kitchen experience. We come in, we'll train you, we'll get you prepped. Um, and not only will you be helping to put this food up, but also while we'll be selling it, we're also trying to get it into the hands of people who have limited access or food insecurity. So it's kind of a diverse um, system where you know we can sell to some people who have more means and then also yeah. make it more available to people with limited means. Amazing, hun. Yeah. So I love this. Fantastic. Everyone, I want you to get involved. I want you to be able to help because this is helping not only just our underprivileged kids here as well and families, but also can help you and your family at home if you have a few extra bucks to buy some of this stuff. If you want to find out more information, there's all the information up on the screen. Guys, head on over. Give them a hand out. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for being here.